Hey guys, so today we'll be looking at a super clean setup. I teamed up with Banggood to create the ultimate max setup, at least According to me, some items I had already, but a lot were provided by Banggood, so thanks to them for making this video possible. And I'll have links to most, if not all the items I talked about in today's video down in the description. So without waiting any further, let's check this setup out. So here's all the items I used for this setup. You can tell that there's a bit of work needed to make this look like something. But within an hour, I had it looking like this. Pretty cool, right? Now we'll go over every part of this setup and we'll start with the desk. So I'm using IKEA Finvert trestle legs and a Skarsta tabletop. These are the most solid trestle legs IKEA offers and I think they're worth the extra cash if you want something that will hold up. And these are screwed in the Skarsta tabletop which is not shown online as it's part of the Skarsta standing desk but you can buy it separately in store. It's stiffer than the Lindman while being thinner which I think gives it a cleaner look. And finally, I'm using a Herman Miller Eames chair replica that keeps a clean look. It's not super ergonomic though, so you might want to invest in a real office chair for longer sessions. At the right, there's my headphone hanger attached to one of the legs, and there's a pair of Sennheiser HD 598s that rest there. I think they fit perfectly with their all black look. Now on top you can find my MacBook Pro, it's an older model from 2013, but it still does the job fine with 16GB of RAM and a quad core i7. It's standing using a vertical laptop stand that's entirely made out of aluminum. It's sturdy and highly adjustable using the screws under so you can fit pretty much any laptop. And I was able to fit a Dell XPS 15 in there. And finally, I really like the rubberized pads under the stand and where the laptop rests, making sure that nothing moves. My MacBook is connected to a USB hub, to my monitor and to its power adapter using three cables. But with the newer MacBooks, I could probably do that with a single cable. Next items are the speakers, which are Audio Engine A2 Pluses. They're great speakers for their size and they can get quite loud too. They're very well regarded in the community, both in terms of sound and look. However, I think they lack a bit in the bass department, so pairing them with a small sub would make them perfect. Still, they look awesome and their white gloss finish is a perfect match for this setup. Next up are my peripherals, which are an Apple Magic Mouse and a Rapu MT500 mechanical keyboard. As expected, the Magic Mouse makes a lot of sense in a Mac setup, but this Rapu MT500 keyboard is quite amazing too. I'll have a full review about it soon, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But basically, it has both a PC and Mac layout, and it features low-profile red switches, which are surprisingly good for typing. I use it with a magnetic cable, so I can easily toss it aside if I need more space, or if I want to use another keyboard. And finally, both of these are laying on top of a large mouse pad, which is of quite high quality for the price. I also have a cool concrete lamp on top of my desk featuring a LifeX mini bulb. It's a handmade item, so I'll have a link to where you can find it on Etsy, but I don't know if they ship worldwide. Speaking of lights, I also have a LifeX Z strip behind my monitor for some RGB greatness and I think it looks so great on a white setup. Next up is my monitor, which is a 27 inch 4K IPS display. I've been rocking this monitor for a few years and I still love it. The resolution is a bit high to drive for gaming and it cannot go over 60 Hz, but on a Mac, it makes a lot of sense. The colors are gorgeous and the pixel density is simply perfect. And its overall aesthetic matches perfectly as well with the white back and the silver accents. Its stand is not height adjustable though, so I use the Norico aluminum display stand. It's super solid and looks great. The height it adds helps with ergonomics, and it's a great spot to hide cables too. Finally, you can also use it to store a keyboard or a laptop when not in use. Now to easily access multiple USB ports, I have a 4 port USB hub from Orico. It's meant to be clamped to an iMac, but it works perfectly with a tabletop too. I like how it doesn't move that way, but still doesn't take a lot of space. And the matching aluminum finish is a bonus. My keyboard and speakers are plugged in it, but it's also really practical to plug an external hard drive. 
as an example. Finally, we'll take a look at the cable management. Usually, I like to use a Signum rack, but I tried something different here. I used the Norico cable box alongside neoprene sleeves. I used one to attach the cables that travel across my desk and another one for the cables that go down. Then I used the cable box to hide all the cable excess I had as well as power supplies. I also had my power strip mounted on one of the trestle legs using velcro cable ties. It's not perfect but for a quick cable management pass, it looks decent. I could better manage the cables in my cable box, but overall it's pretty hard to see any cables without looking under the table, and that's kind of the goal. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Replacing my old MacBook Pro with a newer one with the touch bar would make this an ideal Mac setup for me. And if you're not a Mac person yourself, just replace the MacBook and the Magic Mouse with what you like, and this setup still makes a lot of sense. Finally, as I said earlier, most of the items I talked about will be listed in the description down below, so check these out if you're interested. So hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you liked the video if you did, and if you didn't, just let me know in the comments what I should change, otherwise don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.